That's what that's that's what happens, man. This is our Romans chapter one and verse eighteen. For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Who hold the truth? If you follow unrighteousness, what's going to end up? Destruction, man. With the wrath of the Holy Father, He's going to allow you to be killed out of that, man. Go ahead. Because it, because that which because that which may be known of the Most High is manifest in you. So the Most High has showed us. He showed them the difference of what righteousness does versus what wickedness does. You know, lack of wisdom does. When you follow that path, you get destroyed, man. That's why our people have to go through the world. Getting laid out, man. Getting laid down out. Verse 20. For the invisible thing, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Because uh, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and God is, so that they are without excuse. Because he can see inside the internal parts of a person. So he yeah. knows what they're really up to and what they're willing to carry out and do. And he knows all of that. And then he knows the judgment that he's going to yeah. execute on the people, you know, that's getting laid down. Whether this was staged or host or whatever, People still gonna be dying, man. Yeah, if that was hoax or if that was uh they lost, they were those same people gonna get it though. Yeah, they yeah. Gonna, gonna, get it. Is make, gonna make sure they still have a judgment. Yeah. That was yeah. the point. I got one uh so Rock 7 verse 1. It says, Do no evil, so shall no harm come unto thee. Mm -hmm. Depart from the depart from the unjust and iniquity shall turn away from thee. My son sow not upon the furrow the furrows of unrighteousness, and thou shalt not reap them sevenfold. Mm -hmm. hey, he that he that sow uh, uh, iniquity, uh, it's like you uh, was that Job thirty two. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 Job, um, no, Job four and uh, eight. Yeah. Oh yeah, right after yeah, the seven. Yeah, it says, uh, even as I, like, Job 4 and 7, remember I pray thee whoever perish being innocent, for where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen they that plow iniquity, they that plow iniquity, and so wickedness, leave the same. Yep. Oh, I got to read 9. Yep. It says, by the blast of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. Ooh. Fish, man. Yeah. Should we say there's righteousness, unrighteousness with the most side? God forbid. Oh, get uh, Job 34 and uh, 10 and 11. Uh, Job 34 and 10 and 11. If you're gonna, you already know they're gonna be all over uh, mainstream news. Pray for the for the for the uh, the people that were lost, that whose lives were lost. Yeah. Pray for Buffalo. Pray and for all, Buffalo. All that shit. Black Lives Matter finna come back out. They they gonna have their resurgence. Yeah. After getting drug, dragged down by that that dyke. Yeah. She, she the leader of y'all that corrupt organization and became a a, a, a multi millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and shit on you niggas. Black, black, black lives throwing mansion yeah. parties and shit. Yeah. With y'all money. Toast toasting up and shit. Yeah. yeah man. Well, this that's satanic. How they can take the plight of Jake. Uh, you being, you know, shot down and, and, and going through this hell for them to be able to, to, to promote and, and use your 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 uh, your own demise yep. to benefit, to benefit and gain. Yep. Come on, man. Only our people are wicked, man. But hey, Esau, you see, Esau taught them well. Yeah. Esau is behind all that shit. I got all those things. Uh, the people that they were going out there speaking up for that they made yeah. money on it was, it was, it was a tweet. Right. Don't be written down, I'm going to go ahead with that first. Get that scripture and then we'll get that. Job chapter 34, verse 10. Therefore, hearken unto me, ye men of understanding. Far be it from the Most High that he should do wickedness, and from the Almighty that he should commit iniquity. Uh -huh. For the work of a man shall be rendered unto him, and cause every man to find according to his way. Yep. <laughs> it is. You wicked, man. You so wicked, wickedness, you're going to reap wickedness. And you're going to find what you're looking for, man. 
whatever energy that you that you put in the earth, don't be surprised if that energy returns. You know, some of them were probably scoffers. I'm not sure if those great uh, the great waters camp that's in Buffalo. Yeah. I'm not sure if them brothers may have taught in that neighborhood yeah, yeah. or in that area. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense. It would, it would make sense. So yeah. the, 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 the uh, people that got laid down like that, they might have came across them brothers. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Probably said some slick shit in their in they mind. Drove by. They drove, drove past or walk, walked by or, you know, gave the brothers problems. You never know, man. They probably came across the <laughs> videos. Hey, same thing for us with that route, was it Route 91 shooting? Yeah. <laughs> right? Hey, we're pretty sure some of them victims walked by the camp that day. Huh? Walking down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Getting there early. Oh, yeah. Gonna end up down there. And yeah, they ended up down there already. Yeah. That was it on that. This is a, a tweet from Sim. That's why he said, Peyton. Hayden uh, Gendron murders 10, calmly arrested. Nicholas Cruz murders 17, calmly arrested. Dylan Roof murders 9, calmly arrested. Patrick Kulishas, I don't know his name, murders 23, calmly arrested. Tamir Rice, Ariana Jones, uh, uh, Ayana Jones, Ayana Taylor, George Floyd, Eric Gardner, and Gardner, all unarmed and innocent, killed immediately. Right? Then he follows that up and says, the above examples are consistent with the data. Black people are 3.23 times as likely as Native Americans, three times as likely to be killed by police than are white people. Meanwhile, white people are two times as likely to be armed than black people. This Bro, is they, they've done experiments where they, yeah. they show how the police respond to an armed Edomite versus an armed Jake. Yeah. Put an assault rifle in an Edomite's hand and he's walking up and down the block. Yeah. In an open carry in, state. In, in, in an open carry state. And they just like, you know, hey, what's going on, sir? Like, yeah. you're scaring the people. Put that up, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but when Jake, when they see Jake, Hey, Put it down, get on the ground. Get Bro. on the ground, like, you know, like, like they got them at, like, like five cop point. cars. Yeah. It's fucking hard. half the fucking force showing them. Yeah. Hella hostile interaction. Huh. And it was funny, what was that? I was like, man, de escalate this shit. Obviously, what the fuck you doing? And when the guy, they said the baby walked out the store with that uh, doll, a toy, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. The parent didn't know. They called the cops. Yeah. You call the cops to ask for the toy back? Okay. It's a fucking toy. You work at Dollar Tree or where the fuck you work. Let the shit go. It's a fucking three-year-old. So they're all in the car. They show the dude, like, what's going on? He didn't even know the kid still had the toy. Right? And he's like, what are you doing? Get on the ground. And all these other shit on there. De-escalate this shit. Officer, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, he's not armed. His children are in the car. What are you doing? But that's the difference. He's not in trouble like other men. Right? This man ain't got the same ills to worry about the world. It says that this is what systemic racism looks like. Yeah, damn. We got the article to go. Black people more than three times as likely as white people to be killed during a police encounter. Black Americans, yeah, that's just the stats. Let me jump down. It says, let's be clear, we don't want police to kill white supremacist terrorists in cold blood. We want police to not kill innocent black and brown people in cold blood. That should be a that shouldn't be a controversial ask. That shouldn't, that shouldn't be controversial for the world to ask them. But that's not part of the overall agenda. The overall agenda is get rid of these bottle feeders. You know, get rid of Jake. Jake is going to turn it into something else. Like that one cop, I know it was a joke, but the, the, the dude standing there, the cop was like right up to the ticket. Jake does like that, and the cop like, hey, man, what are you on there for? And he laughed, like, man, I ain't going to do that. It's cool. Well, what the fuck you on land so much since? When you with us? Why is that? And they said it, man. It's because they're fucking scared in that movie. Um, uh, 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 yeah, uh, 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 Nate Parker. Yeah. 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 What's uh, the name of that movie? Uh, American, uh, American, uh, 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 uh shit. Fuck. I know. Yeah. American skin. American skin. skin. Yeah. He said it. They, they had that dialogue. Hey, man, we fucking scared we pulled you over, man. We just want to go home. We just want to go home, too. 
why is it a big problem? Why are you pulling me over for with guns drawn and shit? You know? They wouldn't talk to you. But they see how but they see how evil niggas are to each other. Right. They see how you niggas are super heartless when you murder each other the way you do. Like you treat each other very inhumane. So you think you think these other nations are gonna treat you humane, nigga? Mm -hmm. You know, you're you're a fucking uh, uh, an astonishment, man. You're you're you are a fuck. You are you are cursed. You are a cursed nation, man. That's why all this evil is coming upon you, man. Daniel the ninth chapter. No evil has been done that was done unto Jerusalem. But you, hey, you is well deserved too. Mm -hmm. Because look how disobedient you are. You would think all, after the scourge of all this, uh, all these atrocities are happening to you since since you've been brought over here, yeah. that you would see that there's a pattern, that something, sums up. Like yo, mm -hmm. at least back then. We had a conscience. We we would ask that we would inquire to the prophets. Yeah. You know, why did the Lord pronounce all this evil against us? Mm -hmm. Because you walking worse than your, how you, your your fathers did. Yeah. That got you in the mess. Of your the punishment ain't worth it. That's yeah. why this final punishment and that second covenant has to be initiated. Okay, it's gonna have to because our people, we lifted for us to. You know how long it would take for us to to, to transition towards righteousness from the place that we're going. We're all the way full headlong into wickedness. Ain't no way. We gotta stop and turn around still. And, and this is gonna be the event that just clicks us back to go to righteousness. And those that are trying to be righteous are the ones that stopped and turned around. That's why we're out here now, calling you, you elect out there, man. Stop and turn the fuck around and come the fuck out here and get this word in you. I don't even care where you go no more. I don't even care. Come to grave. I don't, I'm not even gonna say none of that. That's up to you, but stop cutting this bullshit. Come desire sincerely the word of the Heavenly Father so we can get the fuck up out of here, man. Yeah. That's all we really want. Yeah. I got a precept. Uh, was that was that more on what y'all was reading? Yeah, yeah, you want to wrap that up? You want to find and uh, you gonna hold that whole alliance? Alliance and all. Just talk, talk, talk. Is uh, Amos five and eighteen? Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is darkness and not light, as if a man did flee from a lion in a bare meadow, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of Yahweh by Hashem so Yahweh Shai? You run, so like you run from run from trouble, and you run into a, you running from a lion, and you run into a bear. You run from a bear and a lion or whatever, and into the house if you stay. It's not easy. Safe, and then you get bitten by a serpent. Yeah. 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 No, there's another one that got you, man. Yeah. It's always going to be something else until you figure out the problem, man. The problem is you got a chance to get a wicked ass beast to a living soul, man, onto the earth. Living in righteousness, living with the wisdom of the Heavenly Father. This book was given to our people to benefit us on the earth. So we can inhabit it and teach everybody else how this be an example to people how this should work. Now, when the second uh, covenant is initiated, you're just gonna have to put it in us to be perfect, and then we're gonna go and teach the other people. We'll never get there unless he does the second, unless the second covenant happens. Anyway, let's uh, 19. Try to, uh, so not the 19. And leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Yeah. Oh, so like it. You went back to uh, Amos. Yeah. Oh, so like, oh. so, um, the reason why you go there is because yeah, basically the, the Lord's not going to stop yeah. when it when it comes to, down to him uh, bringing the scourge on Jacob. He's not going to stop. He's not going to give you a break. That's that's what we're telling you, man. Right now, everything is still kind of calm. Yeah. Even despite there, there are major things happening. Yeah. You know, yeah, the Lord is bringing tornado, tornadoes, ripping through the Midwest. You know, He's bringing, uh, you know, all type of the, the, uh, disasters. But it's still not shaking you up. You're still not in fear. Yeah. So that's why the Lord is not gonna, he, He's not gonna stop, man. He's gonna, He's gonna intensify. You. All right. So when, like, when, when you compare 
you, you getting away from 